In this video, I want to show you a simple way for using a hand plane to make raised panels. This is a raised panel blank I've made up to show you. It's got a big knot hole in it, so it's just a sample, just to show you how it works. And all four sides have the bevel angle rough cut on them with a table saw. So the table saw, I've made a jig for it that provides a kind of fence support on one side and the blade is angled over you know, maybe 18 degrees, 20 degrees from vertical and the bevel is rough sawn. You can see here what it looks like. The edge of the panel is thicker than I want and then there are some saw marks on here. So we're getting roughly to the shape of a raised panel but it's not nearly refined enough. And that's what this next step is all about. So you need some sort of a bench. It doesn't have to be a fancy one like this, but just something that's going to hold the panel steady as you work. Now, the bevel width on this sample is fairly consistent, but it's not unusual for that bevel width to vary. You might move the panel a little bit as it's sawing on its edge, or maybe there's a little bit of a warp there. Um, so the first step is to define how wide you want your bevel to be. And a combination square is a great tool for that. So I've already prepared the bevels on the other sides of this panel, and this combination square is set to those widths. So. You need something to plane to, some reference line to plane to. And in this case, it's a fair amount wider than the sawn bevel, but that's okay because you'll get to see how it all works. Now the next thing you need is a very sharp hand plane. The blade here, I've sharpened it using the buffing wheel system which is by far my favorite. I've, I've got a course that shows how to take a dull tool and in a couple of minutes make it sharp enough to shave hair. This, this plain iron is sharp enough to shave hair. So now it's time to smooth the bevel, but also to do two other things. I'm going to be widening the bevel so it just comes to this pencil line. That's task number one. Task number two is to make the edge of the panel thin enough so it fully interlocks with this frame part. In this case, it's a style. Now, right now, you see it's, it's too thick. It's not going to go in as far as it needs to. So I need to make this thinner and the overall bevel wider all along the whole edge. And that's what I'm going to show you now. I'm going to have the plane set for a medium cut. I guess the first thing I'm going to do is to bring, bring the width of the bevel out where I want. So I'm not really working along the edge too much. I'll concern myself with that later. I'm just making the bevel wider, approaching that pencil line. Now, I don't want the pencil line to disappear completely, so I'm going to start to work on the lower end of the bevel now. And of course I want the bevel to be completely flat too. I don't want it to be rounded, so I do have to work in the middle as well. Let me stop and see how we're doing. You can take wood away, but you can't put it back. So down here at this end, I'm almost as thin as I need to be. Up here at this end, I'm still a little bit thicker. I also noticed that one side of the blade was dragging a little bit. 
causing a little bit of a score mark. It's not a big deal because I'm going to be sanding this too. But I'm going to use the, the lever here to change the angle of that blade a little bit. I, I, I made it go this way a little bit more so that this edge wouldn't drag. As I'm getting closer to my finished dimensions, I'm going to retract the blade a little bit, take some gentler cuts, getting there. That's about as close as I want to go with the hand plane. It's smooth, the bevel is a consistent width. There's a little bit of torn grain, it's unavoidable because the, the grain is not consistent along the whole length of this panel. But what I'll do now is to take a quarter sheet finishing sander, I think I'll go at it with 180 grit paper and we'll refine that bevel so that it's nice and smooth and ready to go. Some people wonder about how you can use a hand plane on end grain. I just showed you how it works on, on edge grain. But if it's sharp enough, as you can see, it, it works very well on end grain too. I don't know if you can see that, but the green is actually shimmering here. It's so smooth. And a little bit of sanding to make it blend with the rest of the panel, and we will be ready for putting this door together.